In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a real world project that actually I'm going to do uh, live here. So this is kind of unscripted and I'm going to just show you my workflow when I'm moving footage around. If you want to see the deep dive video for Final Cut Pro, um, I want you to click on the box uh, that says here in the annotations and go back to that video. But right now for this video, I'm going to show you a real world um, explanation of how I move footage. So I have footage on this drive called G drive. Actually it's a project and I need to move it over here because my files are over here and I pulled it from another computer at our school and it's, this is all the footage right here and we're going to match it all up. So final cut for pro finish it, uh, doing that. We're going to go from there. All right. This is an error. I have two projects with the same name. All right. So on G drive, I have the same thing. And then on the other drive. So move one of these documents out of your final cut events folder, copy events from within final cut pro. So that's a great identifier right there. You have two drives with the same project, but I probably just tried to move them myself instead of copying them within final cut pro. All right. So we have final cut pro open and what we want to do, we have the SSG drive. And then we have footage, um, I think, on this G drive. I think the project is on the G drive and the footage is on this drive. So we want to move it and get the project. This is the, pro this is the event right here. And the project is on another drive. So we need to move this <coughs> project to the SSG. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here to my project library, the G drive. Then I'm going to see this right here it's called 422 i know that that's just the name the way the student named it so i'm just going to click here go up and i'm going to say move project then i'm going to move it project and reference events um, i can do that that's going to take longer but i'm just going to reconnect the event i'm going to move the project only i'm not going to modify the event references anything like that yet Okay, so I see this event. I'm going to rename this. I see this event. I'm going to rename it. It's called P. Call it PYT. Um, let's just go rough cut. And then what we're going to do. So it's missing a lot of events. It's missing all of the files and all the editing and all the other stuff. So what we're going to do, we're just going to reconnect all this media. All right, so we're going to click on here and then what we can do is actually we're going to go right here. Go back. Then I'm going to hit here, relink project files. All right, so we see that relink project files. And then it gives me this dialog box, reconnect project clips to media files, locate all. So I'm going to go over here go to my SSG drive and then my PYT folder. And then I know they're all in there. I'm going to hit choose and relink files. And it is a piano ballad and then a song that I still need. All right. So I see everything here is coming together and I still need the piano ballad and I still need. Uh, so we're going to look at the piano ballad and see where that is and then the song but other than that everything else is basically reconnected so let's just see what we have right here okay now you see everything it's already coming in and it is uh, rendering the files the background rendering i just reconnected these files now all i have to do is find the beautiful song and that is uh i don't even know if i have that song here um if i don't have it i'm going to have to get it again and once i download that and then the piano ballad once again. But you see how useful reconnecting files and moving files. Instead of trying to move them myself, I wanted to make sure that Final Cut Pro 10 did the work and reconnected all the files. So I'm just going to click on there and just we're going to mute those and just call those. Uh, and we'll we will uh, go ahead and relink those files as soon as we uh, find them and get them in there. So that's how I relink my files and get my stuff right back in order so 
Take care.